Attention troopers, this is your Imperator Dermenstein. First off, I want to apologize for the delay in development for the winning proposal of Community Research Brand Chapter 4. There was some problem with their attack updates, making mods unusable, and this happened a couple of times, both in stable and unstable versions, so that was quite disruptive to my mod development process. But at last, here we are with the finished 1000 by 1000 cells Nova Airbase. And before you ask, I will explain how I broke the 64 cube build limit. As we all know, one block cell in Terratech is 1 meter cubed. As you can see here in my blender, the dimension of this airbase is 10 meters by 10 meters. But then I scaled it up 100 times, so in game, the base appears to be 1000 by 1000 cells. However, only a small area of the base is actually registered in the cell map. And that area is marked by this 64 by 54 square in the middle of the base. To visualize this more clearly, let's take a look at it from Blender. This is the airbase in its entirety. And this is the build area, where you can put other blocks above or underneath the airbase. So in other words, I tricked the game to handle this airbase as a 64 by 64 square while ignoring the area outside it and the game will let you build inside this square within the usual 64 cubed build limit. Now that you understand how all of this comes into existence, let's take a look at this airbase in more detail. The main feature of this airbase is, of course, the runway. There are two parallel runways on this airbase and each of them is 1 km long and we have a total of 8 hangars flanking both runways on the side of the airbase. This hangar is used for fields instead of traditional gates. We can store our biggest bombers and cargo planes here, or even several squadrons of smaller fighters. And here we have the air traffic control tower, which includes radar facilities, crew quarters, and other R&R facilities. On the other side, you can see the garrison tower. This building contains the commander's office and quarters, armor and storage, an on-site reactor and a helipad in case the airbase commander is a quick way in and out. Originally, I wanted to use the Legionite's hangar module for this airbase, just like I did with the carrier flight deck. So we can just park a plane in this general area, right click on the base and the plane will be stored automatically. And while being stored, the plane will also be repaired and charged using the airbase's on-site reactor. However, for some reason, it wouldn't deploy the plane back. 
My working theory is that the crew stationed in this airbase are idiots and they couldn't find the giant plane that was just transferred into their care literally seconds ago. All jokes aside, I have reached out to Legion Knight to try to figure out what went wrong, but I'm still waiting for his response. So for the moment, avoid using the hangar module and don't park your plane in this area while we provide better training for the crew or perhaps fire them and recruit new ones. So how do we spawn this airbase in the first place? You can find it in the Hawkeye flight section and just drop it on the ground. Or if you have the patience for it, you can craft the airbase with these materials. After the fabricator spits it out, you can right click on it and assume control of it just like you would do with an entire tech. And from here, you can start placing blocks in the build area. My recommendation would be to place an AG module, some thrusters, and a gyro to keep things level. Then make a snapshot of the base, so the next time we need an airbase, we can simply fly a drone or a small plane and swap it with the airbase in mid-air. I will provide this snapshot so you don't have to build it from scratch. You can find it in the description along with the workshop link and other relevant information. This is Darren Stein signing off. Thank you.